Assalamu alaikum dear students and a very good morning to you all. Welcome to our today's English class for class 3. As all of you know that in our previous class we have learned the and we have done revision of unit 14 that was ducks in danger. In that, exercise, um, in that unit we have learned about all the exercises and even we have gone through all the unit and go, uh, summary. So now in this in this class we will go through unit 16 for our revision first of all come to page number 17 and 71 and let me give you a summary of the unit here in this unit we have learned about the story that was a wonderful and interesting story in which there was a lady there was an old lady in an old house she was having lots of mice in her house so she was really unhappy with the mice why because sometimes the mice really make a mess in our house that's why the lady was also not happy with the mice and all of you know that mice is the plural of mouse so for the purpose she had she had a cat for to eat mice to get rid of the mice so um, she had a cat and the cat used to eat every mouse that she saw so the mice were really not happy with this condition so they called a meeting in a hole okay so they were thinking what to do with the cat so a little a little mouse has given a suggestion to put a bell on the cat so that when she will come we will know about her and we will run away to save ourselves but the thing was that who will put the bell in the cat on the cat clear so the meeting ended without any solution and the and the mm, old mouse spoke at the end of the meeting that whenever we do we only have words and not action it doesn't mean anything just like it is not hard to say things but it is much harder to do them okay coming towards page number 72 of unit 16 on this page the first exercise is complete the sentences here the the stories sentences are given and we have to do it according to the story an old dish lived in a very old dish an old lady lived in a very old house they were day there were dish in the dish lady's house there were mice in the old lady's house the lady was not dish so she got a dish the lady was not happy so she got a cat the mice were very dash so they called a dash the mice were very unhappy so they called a meeting a young dash said we must put a dash on the cat a young lady a young mouse said we must put a bell on the cat true or false exercise b is think and then true or false about the story the old lady had a dog false because she had a cat there were mice in the house true the cat likes to key a catch mice true the old lady put a bell on the cat false the old mouse put a bell on the cat false because they have just decided they didn't put it so the next one is about you you have to put a tick if you are having this and if you are not having this then false i have a cat at home i have a dog at home i think mice are rather nice i would like a new pet i think my teacher does not like mice okay exercise c is just your imagination the words that are given you just have to imagine and then make it draw it just like the first one about um, was the old lady and the second one is the cat the third one is we have to move to page number 73 here we have to first of all write a story according to the given sentences so the sentences are given and we just have to give them a sequence so 
Look, I will just go through them sequence wise. The first one is the cat liked to eat mice. However, the mice were scared and ran away. The mice decided on a plan. The little mouse got a nice big bell. The mice all waited quietly. Soon they saw the cat coming. So you have to write sequence wise in the given space, in the given lines. Okay, the next exercise is exercise B. You have to write the correct word. Did, done, are, does. I have done my homework. I did it after school. Does your dad know what you have done? The boy had done the cleaning. Mom say, said she does not know who did it. Tom said he had not done it, but I think he did it. Did you forget forget to tell what did it? Who did it? What am I? Now you have to think and do it correctly according to the given words in the space. Flower, vegetable, clay, grass, tree, fruit. Okay, so the first one is I am colorful. I am quite sweet to eat. So the thing that is related to eat is fruit. I am large. I grow. You can climb on me. That is, that is tree. The third one is, I grow, I am tasty, you cook me, vegetables. I grow, you can cut me, but only animals eat me, that is, grass. I am dark, I can be nooky when it is wet, that is clay. I am colorful, I look nice in a vase, that is, flower. So page number 73 is done, all the three exercises. Now move towards page number 74. Exercise is write three words for each. Like the first one, things you like is television, my friend and spaghetti. So you have to think by yourself and then do it according to your likes and dislikes. Like programs you watch on television, things you do in the garden, things you don't like, things that are heavy, things you find in the bedroom. The exercise B is crack the code. code. So crack means you have to think, you have to do according to the according to the letters, according to the signs or given over there. Like you have to match them and then do it. Like the mice is done already and I have done the others for you and you can do it by yourself. It's a very interesting game. Mice have long tails. Cats have whiskers. Mice do not like cats. Moving towards page number 75 here. For each of the following situation, you have to write seven sentences about how you show your love and care for your friend. So the pictures that are given, they are friends over here for, of you. So you have to think that how they are and how you will help them. So Sam is a poor and hungry. He has no money to buy food. So think and just imagine what you will do with him. Then you have to write over here. And all of you have written over here before too. And the second one is. Fell, Jill fell down uh, and fractured both her legs. She is in a wheelchair. She is feeling sad and lonely. So here you, you have to do. If any condition is given to you, what you will do and how you will do. You have to think if you have done, if someone has done like this to herself, to himself, if someone is in this condition, then how you will help them, clear? After this, we have to go through the genders and that are masculine, feminine. Here we have to learn about the male things and the female things like the masculine and feminine. So just like hunter, for this we are having huntress, fox, vixen, whenever there is a king, there is a queen. He bear, she bear, grandfather, that is a familiar word to you all. For this we use grandmother. 
leopard so for leopard we are having leopardess doctor you have known the word doctor and whenever we are having a woman that is doctor so we will say that is a lady doctor sir madam as you t um, as you ask your teacher with the word you call her with a word that is madam steward stewardess wizard which okay so all the things of unit 16 are done i have also gone through the masculine feminine you have to learn all the things and now let me give you a little thing to learn that is you have to learn adverb and conjunction in your homework so in your homework you have to learn the exercises and the activities related to adverb and conjunction you just have to go through the definitions of adverb and conjunction that what they want to tell us in this and then you will learn the activities and exercises like if i give you any sentence you must be able to do it clear that's all for today's class thank you all for listening patiently take care of yourself at your homes and of the other people thank you all allah hafiz take care goodbye